This morning in family time, oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the play inside is so delightful. And back in studio this morning to share some crafty ideas for the winter season is the mod mommy herself, our friend, local mom blogger, Courtney Caligiri. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning. Always nice to have you here. I know. So let's talk about this time of year. We've been fortunate to have some warmer weather, but yeah, at it times too bad. it gets cold and we need things to do inside with the kids. So take it away. What should we do you know, to like keep them You know, like all the time occupied? you need stuff to do. I vote for eating, but <laughs> they don't want to bake all the time, so I'm like, all right, we can get messy. Well, if you have extra food like lying that. around, give me a call. Yeah. Um, so these I just did recently last week. Super easy, and obviously my goal when I bring crafts on and I do things at home is that you don't have to run out and get stuff, hopefully. Because That's one thing I've learned from you. Have the things on hand. Prepare yeah, ahead of time. Yeah, it's stressful if not. You know, you got to run out and buy felt. I oh. mean, who has that hanging around? Because of you, I have a lifetime supply of do felt you? and doilies. <laughs> and a huge craft box. That's right. So this um, guy right here so is he, the sock he's snowman. He's a sock snowman. And I have a great video on my website on how to do it. It's like a minute long, takes super quick. But if you have a sock that doesn't have a mate, and so you have one white sock left right. over, you can use it. He's filled with rice, a <laughs> uh, bag of rice, and he's just tied off with rubber bands. This is the, the foot of the sock, so I just ended up like cutting the sock in half and filling him. You use like seamstress, like push pins for eyes. You can use real buttons I have or, um, you know, pom poms for the buttons here. And this was Christmas wrapping paper ribbon that I had left over for the scarf. I mean, if you have like real ribbon, you can certainly use that. But he's fun and he sits on the fireplace. He can kind of go the distance through the winter as a nice uh, home yeah. decor item. He and I are gonna hang out this afternoon. He's We're fast friends. Snowy. Absolutely. So there, you, so there you go. No, but a cute idea for the It kids. takes like two seconds to make. If you have multiple kids, it's fun. You can have like a snowman family. I mean, I'm gonna have like a hundred snowmen like next <laughs> winter, so it'll be good. That's right. And moving on next year, the no-cook Play-Doh. What yes. are we gonna do? And I feel I, I'm gonna get my hands dirty here. Yeah, I think you should. Right. I tried to bring a bowl to keep it all contained. Um, it's mostly like salto. So in here is flour okay. and salt. And then in here is water. So the trick with this one is you want to add like a couple of drops of liquid detergent. All right. So I can go ahead and um, do that. You can put a couple of drops in here. It's kind of like baking. You always want to do like your wet and your dry separate okay. and then combine them. Okay. And then you can add like two drops of food coloring and I brought on the fantastically fun already. neons. So what do you, you want to do? I'm going to go with, uh, how about a, this like, looks like a fuchsia to me. All right. Go in there, just a couple of drops. No, well, you get to take the cap off. Well, right. I, yep. uh, you have to take the cap off, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Thank you, Courtney. Um, like one or two. Don't go crazy. There you go. Go wild here with okay, our homemade no. Play-Doh. You know me, I get very excited when it's craft time. So it's mostly edible now that you want to. I mean, I have like a good like detergent here, but right. you know, if they get it in their mouth, it's not like terrible. Yes, but maybe it should be avoided. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't <laughs> Yeah, I don't recommend it. So yeah, so you can just mix it up. Although I drank plenty of detergent as a kid and I turned out just fine. See that? Look at you. <laughs> that is not true. Um, and slowly like mix it in. Okay. Um, and then, you know, always have extra flour on hand. Okay, just dump it in and mix it up. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing with homemade Play-Doh. This is the no cook. If you cook Play-Doh, it lasts longer. This can take you about a month. It's already hardening up. Yeah, this will last you a month if you keep it in like an airtight container. Mm -hmm. Keep my, the lid up. Yeah, got to keep, keep the lid, the lid on up. But my out. boys will dry this out in a day. So you know, however long you want to keep it. But it's fun. It works well. You just keep working it, and for kids who want to get messy, they can just keep. Go, going at it. And speaking of your boys and your family, some big news for you guys. Yeah, we, Tell have, us. we have another child coming in May. Come on, Woo! so happy for Courtney. How excited are More you? More crafts for another <laughs> decade. Yeah, no, we're excited. The kids keep asking when he's coming. I was right. like, hopefully not soon. I need some time, you know? Exactly. Just when we thought you couldn't do it all, another child on the way. You do crafts. You make it all happen It's for looking us. good. It's and you can use bad. your hands, but you're, you're a professional, well, so we will let you use the spoon. But sure. Moms I, and dads at home, you can just actually, dump that out. and It really you know. is coming together. Like, I feel, I can feel the progress. You right feel there. like you could make a, a Play-Doh snowman, I perhaps? I could. Maybe a friend for Snowy. Yeah, so I have the, re I have the recipe um, on there, too, as well. So All right. super, hey, that, super easy. That's not too bad. A dork like me can do it. Imagine what your kids can do. Courtney, always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. you. Congratulations Thank on, you. The, appreciate it. on the baby. 